Next, we have board member comments. Do we have any board member comments at this time? Uh, member Cannon? Yes. Um, I just, while we've been in meeting, oh, you can't see this very well. Uh, I have my background blurred, but you should have received from NASB uh, a new standard, which is their magazine. And this one is on supporting students with disabilities. If you turn to page 37, uh, you will notice that NASB had, took interest in our Utah Schools for the Deaf and Blind. And uh, Superintendent Joel Coleman is featured there as one of two superintendents uh, giving input on the programs in their states. So I think that's a tip uh, to Utah. It's a tip to our Utah Schools for the Deaf and Blind. And uh, if you have a minute, I hope you'll open your standard and take a look at what Joel has to say. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions or any as a board member comments? Any other board member comments? I'm, um, let's see, Member Booth. I just wanted to mention that at the USBA, I had a chance to attend a workshop uh, this last week and then talking with the superintendent from Nebo, where I spent 16 years on the board, uh, we talked together about this session on mental health and on uh, services and, and uh, resources to help parents as they're dealing with children with uh, mental health issues. And I just want, I'm going to send all of you a link uh, that I just got from that workshop of uh, parent resources that have been developed by the Cook family from doTERRA fame. Um, they've contributed $15 million uh, towards the development of these resources and they're free. And uh, I've watched a number of them since the weekend and they're just, I believe, very helpful and could be a, a really wonderful resource to add to district websites across the state uh, and you might have opportunity to uh, share with your districts that you represent uh, once you've had a chance to see some of the material and vet it for yourself. But I, I heartily uh, uh, support and endorse the good work that uh, this group is doing to answer some of the needs that are yet unanswered with children with mental issues, particularly in this difficult pandemic time. Thank you. Thank you, member Booth. And also if somebody wanted to get there really quick, because you haven't sent the link, if you go, I believe it's Nebo district, right under, right next to the UT app deal that they've got on their, on their website, you will see a connection or a link to that. So good organization. Thank you. Thank you. Um, member Earl. I just have a question, if that's okay to ask Dr. Randy. Is this a Saturday session? Ooh. Remember if it was Saturday? I, can you? The only reason why I'm asking is because we're not other board members text me to your question. You might want to take your video down. I, I couldn't hear, we couldn't hear you. Oh, Try okay. To. I just wondered if it was the Saturday session that that meeting oh. was. Can you hear me? Now? Yeah, yeah, no, I think it wasn't. It wasn't Saturday, was it, Randy? No, no, uh, it was. Oh, okay, because there was some great comments from the Saturday one. I got feedback from other board members that just said it was outstanding. So it would be good. I, I hope they post the information from these, um, from some of these workshops, because they were, it, quite a few of them were exceptional. They were. That's right. all. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm not seeing any other hands raised. I want to thank everyone for their participation in today's uh, board meeting, um, moving the board work, board's work forward. Um, I know it's been a long day. Thank you, staff. Thank you, all those that have participated in this. Tomorrow's a new day. We've, we've got more meetings, committee meetings, and et cetera. Um, thank you. Take care. Um, be safe. And this meeting's adjourned.